Hello and welcome my not April Foolers. Yeah, if you didn't know, my previous video on Update 42 was an April Fool's joke, and this one is not. We've got the new stupendous content update. So today we're going to go over all of this awesome stuff for you guys and hopefully have some fun. First and foremost is Gentle Monkey Gadgeteer Skin Geraldo. We get him for 3500 bucks, which, eh, I mean, it is what it is. Not too shabby there. And we got the new map, Castle Revenge. So today I'm just going to play it on hard. We're going to play it on standard. We're going to play with Geraldo, of course. And uh, uh, let's see what we can make happen here. So first of all, let's take it just a gander at this map. This looks like a beautiful and pretty map overall i mean we've got moving gears down here that actually look like realistic those are like some epic skins with steam coming out and everything who knows what's going on with the balloons though i mean we've got a weird little zigzag over here with an inability to put anything down because we're floating in the sky right now this is not water down here this is like a floating castle ship here so, uh, yeah, what do we even do to get started? All right, this is going to be my base start here. I have no idea if this is a good strategy whatsoever, but uh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. We've got a double tack here to play, one on the top, one on the bottom here. Um, this seems like a really, really good corner here for just about any tack shooter ever. Um, top path, middle path, bottom path, whatever you're feeling kind of at the time, got to go for it. And then I wanted something just to kind of clean up the tower, uh, clean up the red and balloons that are going to sneak through. Figured a dart monkey would be uh, suitable for this situation. Now, in addition, we've got Geraldo, which means we can get shooty turrets up the wazoo. And I believe that these will be even more epic here. We could put them maybe over here and over here to shoot down straight lines and everything. Should work out pretty well. Ready right, we go. Here's the new skin from Geraldo. Uh, this is kind of exciting. So everything should be the same. Don't forget, it's just a skin. It's not going to change anything, um, um, like, actually, uh, as far as his power goes or anything like that. But we don't know the balance changes yet. Now, technically, I am playing with the current balance changes, but if Ninja QB doesn't tell me that Chat Tax Shooter does one extra damage or plus 12% popping power, 12% speed. Like, I'm not going to know. I'm not going to notice, right? So there's no way for us to actually tell exactly what's going on here, but we should note that our, all the changes are incorporated in this game, and when the update finally comes out, I will get that for you guys. So uh, there's a lot of changes in this new update. I'm going to show you guys uh, one of the main ones is the accolades. So this is a really interesting concept. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's do this first. Let's do, let's do one here. I'm going to put on last. And we're going to put one over here and put him also on last. And uh, I'm hoping that they just shoot down this straight line right here and kind of like shoot into each other. And it's working pretty well. All right, shooting turrets having little uh, uh, like actual crossbow looking things actually looks legit. This is actually a different um, uh, icon as well. So they went pretty hardcore on everything. Uh, road spikes. We've got like a treasure chest over here. And the road spikes are actually a little different. I mean, nothing special or anything like that. They're like, they look like rusty nails now. I mean, definitely tetanus style over here. I guess they could be bronzified. <laughs> they look rusty to me. Um, we've got the totem. So the totem is going to be a weird witch doctor looking thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, that looks like uh, back when the, the, the first pandemics of the world ever happened. You know, when the, the people would walk around with the Black Death um, uh, creepy idol skin thing. It's got a little tuxedo on, too. I have no idea, man. It definitely is kind of creepy, I guess. And then we've got the uh, strike potion. So uh, you can see that it does have a little icon here, but of course, that's only going to be the icon itself. It should not change exactly what's going on. And then uh, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to afford the Quincy thing, so I can't see what it is right now. Unless I farm hard. You know what? Should I start farming? Maybe I should, but uh-oh. Round 15 is already getting kind of wild here. All right, let's start farming so we can get that uh, Quincy thing before things get absolutely wild. So I'm fighting super hard to make this happen. I am going to get this thing. And I think I got to get 1860, 30, 40, like $900 saved. Uh, I think we're good. We're just going to go for it. I hope that we're good. I'm fighting for it. Quincy action figure. Boom. And he is actually legit. All right, now it took us a lot of lives to make that happen. Um, a lot of uh, kind of craziness going on in here. But you know what? It's going to work out. Um, we can sell them later on whenever we feel like it. In fact, right now we can sell them for $4,000. Woo! All right, so let's get a couple more shooty turrets in here. That's going to be the key for us. And uh, when I can get the money, I need to actually start buying some real upgrades here. I don't have any lead popping power yet or anything, dude. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right, we're just going to kind of throw them down at wherever we can fit them. We are losing a lot of lives at this point. It's not an easy map. It's got uh, two paths. It's pretty reasonably short. The nice thing about the paths, though, is that they do leave a lot of opportunities for, uh, like, aura of effect towers and stuff like that. Tag shooters, um, ice towers, um, 
whatever you, you gotta get going in here. So to pop the leads, I gotta go full metal jacket. I don't really see another good opportunity to do anything about that, so we're just gonna go like that. It's not really the best tower for me, but uh, we will probably sell him later on and just swap it for like a nice tax shooter. I'm feeling the hot shots. I'm gonna go double hot shots, both sides here. Um, and I'm gonna go for more tax, need more tax. If I can get two ring of fires, I mean, this is gonna be an absolutely dominant strategy, dude. Um, I still gotta keep up with Geraldo, though, and all of his, like, random things. I think I wanna try the super monkey thing, see if that's gonna change at all. I don't think it will, but, uh, it is reasonably expensive, so not, like, affordable right, right, right now. And we still have to think about the Moab. So, uh, front-loading our defense over here is not usually a good thing to do. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Camo detection. Alright, so we survived, but at what cost, guys? This is looking brutal at this point. It's all because we just wanted a Quincy action figure. Alright, this is going to be a big change for us. We're going to go for the Razor Rotors Heli Pilot. And then, uh, you believe it or not, Bigger Jets is actually going to be a pretty good addition to our team here. In addition, though, on top of all of that, to pop them up, I think I need to go for Jerry's Fire. But I think, hopefully, ideally, that'll be enough for us. If I absolutely need it, I'll throw it on a Maelstrom in addition, but I don't, I don't think that's going to be necessary. Um... So here we go. Uh, it's going to be up on the top here, so let's put the Jerry's Fire over here. Uh, we can double dip if we're feeling it. I mean, that looks, yeah, I mean, we double dipped it, but uh, I don't know what, it doesn't really matter. We're, we're going to have, we only got another 40 rounds to go. We got bajillions of dollars built up at this point. So let's show off a couple other things. So first of all, uh, this banana farm. Um, let's, let's, uh, let's feed it. Let's give it some fertilizer. All right, no, no direct changes, just looks stinky. Um, only lasts five rounds. I think, is that new? I don't remember if it told me how many rounds it lasted before. I like that, though, if that is a change. Cool. All right, cam detection we're actually kind of weak against, but uh, now we've got a Razor Rotors Heli with cam detection, which is a great addition to our team. And uh, now I want to get a Super Monkey, so let's throw down a Super Monkey right up here. Seems like a weird spot, but once we get the, uh, the range increase, it'll make a lot more sense. So, uh, the cape itself did not look any different as far as I could tell. Oh, look at these little guys! I didn't realize they got little glasses and everything. Oh, the little top hats! Oh, that's so cute! The little, like, worm fire things. Alright, I like them, actually. Alright, let's go for the, uh, super range and epic range on these puppy- this guy. This is actually gonna be a really, really, really important tower, I think. Oh, no! Camo purples, dude! Trying to sneak through my defense, we said not today! And then, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna need to go for more Geraldo cam detection here pretty soon. Um, just let Jerry's fire kind of do all the work. But here we go. This is the new big change. I've got to show it to you guys. Give me one second to set it up, and then we're going to show off the probably the wildest change in this update. All right, so uh, Geraldo, he's got uh, uh, his bunnies. I like the bunnies a lot. Do you guys see them? Look at the little, he's got the little tinkerer thing on the top here. You can see it, but it's also down over here. Just super duper cute. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, the Blade Maelstroms um, are going to look like this. That actually looks pretty legit, too. I'm not going to lie. That's that's pretty cool looking. Like, that's scary. I would not want to walk over that in any video game whatsoever. I would die to that trap. Uh, but we're going to get the bunnies pretty soon. We're going to see if the bunny is going to be really cool, just bouncing around all tinkery-like. But before we get there, I'm going to leave the game running in the background, and we got to talk about this. The Accolades Store. So this is probably the biggest change in this update. And I, I don't know how people are going to feel about this. Um, so, the Accolades store, what you can do is you can buy a gift of Accolades, right? You can buy one for a dollar, you can buy five for five dollars, or twenty for twenty dollars. There is no discount, evidently, from buying many of them. Um, and what you do with these accolades is you give them to players who have made something in the game. So if you really like their map, you really like their challenge, you really like their odyssey, you really like whatever they've done into the, in the game here, uh, you can give them money, basically. But it all has to go through the Ninja Kiwi store. So, uh, the interesting thing about this is that the revenue share on this is quite amazing. Um, there's really nothing like it out there. Uh, it is 50% of anything you purchase. So if I spend a d I spend $20 on accolades and I like a map and I decide to give 10 accolades away, I will be giving $10 to that person, basically. Right? So, um, oh, I, I take it back. I take it back. Uh, yes. Oh, no. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. So... 15% will go towards the, uh, the, the creator code, and the other 35% will go towards the accolades. So it's a total of 50% if you do both of those. So any which way, 
Um, it's a it's a way that Ninja Kiwi has decided that uh, they w wanted to kind of share share the love. If you're willing to produce content in BTD6, it's a way to kind of give some money back to the players, I guess, or the creators, I guess. Speaking of uh, supporting creators, you know, I mean, cough, 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 cough. So it's kind of it's interesting. I don't know if. Like, right now, it doesn't seem like it's worth it because there's not that many things in BTD6 for creators to make. But, for example, in the future, there may be more things that people can make. Maybe they can make um, uh, mods, for example. If you made a mod, put it in BTD6, and you put a lot of work into it, and you made a mod and a map and a challenge combo and all this stuff, and, like, they spent hours upon hours, and people really, really liked it, they could say thank you by paying them a few dollars back to it. Now, of course, this is not necessary whatsoever. You can still play that content for free. This is an additional thing that if you want to support whoever has made that content, you can do that. So, I don't know. I I'm not really going to get into too many details about like what I think about it. I just want to get your guys' opinion. And then, in addition to your opinion, I wanted to know what you guys think about the 12 different accolades. Do you like the look of them? Do you feel like they're... To me, I mean, they look... I don't, don't want to call them cheap, but like because they look so small, they don't look like they're important? I don't, I don't know. Um, it's kind of weird, but I think if you want to, you have to see all of those accolades all like on top of a map, and I think that's what it's going to look like. I think you actually get to see what accolades are on that map, or what badges are kind of like on that map. Any which way, um, we are currently doing okay. I think the best thing for us to do is get Ultra Vision and Rubble Monkey. I think this is going to be a top tier tower in this map. Um, there's no way around it. Robo Monkey in the front of the map with awesome range can hit Balloons and the, as soon as they walk in, as they're wrapping around, still have two arms to attack two different uh, areas at the same time. Like, how do you possibly fight against a Robo Monkey, man? And of course, in my opinion, you got buff mold by right, so you got to get a quick elk on them, and uh, maybe even uh, villagetize them. We'll see how it goes. Geraldo, though, all right, we got to get your bunny flow, my good sir. Um, I actually am a bit afraid of around 63 still, even with a Robo Monkey and Geraldo and Taxiers and everything. They can still walk through, dude. Uh, so, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's, let's do this. Let's get the perishing potions first. Let's get Geraldo's bunnies going. And with the bunnies, I feel pretty... Oh, crap. Game of Leds. Uh, Racer Rotor's heli. Get off of Pursuit and get back on Follow Mouse here, man. You gotta get going. There we go. We survived by not being an idiot. Uh, round 60. Big BFB coming in. No problem. No problem. Robo Monkey's got it covered. He's crit shotting like crazy. And we get the... Oh, I, don't still, I still don't have it! Uh-oh. thought that was my fourth bunny. I guess it was only my third. So overall, um, this is a pretty tough map. I mean, we're not playing it on chips, but right now we're just playing it on hard. So, uh, you know, of course, it's going to get way, way, way more difficult as uh, we play harder difficulties. All right, let's check out this bunny in action. Can we see it? Oh, it's huge! It's huge! Oh, my God. All right. Well, definitely interesting. Um, he's very, very strong, obviously. No changes in popping power or anything, but... It's fun to watch him in action here. Here we go, 63. How we doing? How we doing? Um, good enough. Rubber Monkey does a great job knocking back the balloons, just keeping him in play. Uh, very happy with that. 63 goes down pretty reasonably easily. I didn't even use my Jerry's fires or anything, dude. But now we get super turrets. Alright, so the super turrets even stronger looking. Heck yeah, dude. Not bad. Alright, 63 goes down. I don't want to say easily, but not not too hard there. And we're just going to keep up with Geraldo for the rest of the game. So, genies are kind of worthless. They only last two rounds. Unless you have a really, really tough round, you don't use them. But everything else here, these things lasting a full ten rounds is kind of absurd. That Honestly, if they wanted to nerf Geraldo, just make Jerry's Fires last five rounds. Or seven rounds. And they would be so much more fair. You know what I mean? So here we go. Um, I... Uh, yeah. I mean, there's a couple other changes coming to the game. I, should, I think we should talk about that real quick. Well, speaking of accolades, and speaking of Ninja Kiwi keeping, keeping trying to add... Wow, I cannot talk today. Uh, they keep trying to add on new things that players can create or mess with. And the main thing they're dealing with right now is the map editor. Map editor. So, uh, there's going to be removable and interactable props, which is kind of fun. I don't know exactly what they're going to be yet, but, um... They can actually be linked together through a new interactable area to different special props. So I don't know what that means. Are they going to add like a, a warp 
section, or are they going to add, like, blooms or swords or things from the other maps where you can, like, click on them and they'll, like, shoot across the screen? Like, I don't know exactly what that means, but now it's going to give creators a lot more um, opportunity to just do weird things with the game, I guess. Just, like, make crazy maps that don't even make that much sense sometimes. So, uh, anyways, we are doing fantastic. Let's finish this game off, man. We're gonna go for another Robo Monkey. Um, I think he can still reach if we put him over here. We're gonna go for a Plasma Blast this time. All right. Again, I just really, really like the idea of a Plasma Blast Robo Monkey, kind of in addition here. If we have any weakness with this guy, he's gonna clean him up, and we only have to go to round 80, so it's not like we have to play late, late, late game here. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a quick video compared to usual because I have to actually go over to my brother's house today So that's kind of exciting. We're planning on doing a, a quick grill outside or something like that um, It's gonna be sunny, but chilly out man Ugh. So uh, tomorrow if all goes according to plan I'm gonna make one more video for you guys talking about the eclipse and then on Monday. I probably will not be here Okay, I'm I'm going on a trip with uh, my wife to go check out the uh, the solar eclipse that's happening in uh, uh, on April 8th on Monday at around a two to three o'clock depending on kind of like where you're at um, and uh, I'm kind of excited for it to be honest um, I, I missed I, I don't want to say I missed the solar eclipse in 2017 but I did not get a good glimpse of it you know what I mean it was it was kind of uh, 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 it was pretty cloudy, and it was almost like raining where I was, and like you could see the sun through the clouds, but it, like it was just not the same as seeing an actual eclipse. Like it just didn't feel right. So uh, we wanted to try to go to the actual totality this time around. You know what? Let's do this. Let's confirm. Let's confirm we're not going to die here. I'm just going to build a genie. <laughs> you know what? That would be exactly my luck to die on round 78. Let's give everybody camera detection too. Just not screw with this up, okay? Ooh, so yeah, we didn't get to see. We got the new Ghost Genie. Ooh. Let's see what the heart animation is going to be like. Ooh, so now we do an injectable. Oh, boy. Ninja Kiwi, man. Drug addicts. Wah. Give me some extra lives up in here. Give them all back. And I think we've seen mostly everything. We got a weird sharpening stone that I guess can sharpen things. Um, I guess just kind of crazy they went with all these new icons. You know what? I should probably do this. We made the money for it. Let's make it happen. We're going to buy Geraldo up to level 20, and we're going to see the other things in action. So the totems! You got to see the totems. We got this new gear totem. Paragon power totem of, of ge literally gears. So, okay. I mean, like, fair enough. And here's the other genie. We got, oh, a brown genie. All right, so it's just the gray guy, but turning brown. He's got a little monocle now. Oh, my God, they lined up on top of each other. How, how is that even possible? They're literally, like, merged right now. It's kind of weird to look at. I think he'll disappear after, uh, what are the chances of that, by the way? It's gotta be pretty rare. Like, really rare. And really weird. Like, their hats are kind of, like, dancing on each other or everything. It's just so goofy to look at. Um, and you cannot change his targeting or anything, so you can't fix that. So, yeah, that's it. I mean, I don't think... Uh... Uh... I missed... Oh, yeah, I missed something, because something's changed over time. I kind of forgot about that. But, uh, most things are the same. Um, or they have the same icon, at the very least. Okay. Fair enough. All right, we've got uh, round seven down. Here we go, the last round, guys. We've got the uh, the brown genie now is the only one alive. Um, and, oh my god, one simple little bloom to take down. No problem here. Geraldo, how does he look, by the way? Uh, you know what? I, I don't want to say I don't want to say good or bad. He just kind of looks like Geraldo. He's got all his totems, all his trinkets, all his everything. And guess what we get? We get a bunch of crap here. If you guys enjoyed, press that like button. Subscribe, and have a super duper delicious day.